Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to read your Shopify analytics, how to find the data where your traffic is coming from, how to see which products are selling the best in your store and how to find opportunities to bring more traffic that converts. Welcome to Rock Paper Copy, best place for Shopify store owners to learn about SEO, getting traffic and sales. Now let's get started. First of all, you need to log into your store and access your Shopify analytics. Once you log in, go to analytics in the left hand side. And here you've got overview dashboard, so you can see the total sales in the period selected. Here you can change the period if you wanted, so you can view the period just today, last 7 days, last 30 days, and so on. You can always select custom range to set your requirements, so you can select the dates from starting and ending right here and simply click apply. You can also compare period to the previous period, so for example you can view the data from the last month and compare it with the previous month so you can see if your sales changed, if your sales improved, if your traffic improved and so on. Here you can view your online store sessions which is the sessions from each of the visitor even if they visited a few times it counts as a new session. Here's the returning customer rate so obviously if there is return visit from the same person online store conversion so this obviously is important for your sales you can see how many people added to cart how many reached checkout how many converted what is the average value of the sale how many orders you had and what's the change compared to the previous period you can also view detailed reports from each of the elements i will go through that as well in this video you can see the top products sold in that period so obviously you can monitor which of the products are selling the best for you you can see where your traffic is mainly coming from, from which countries, on which devices people are browsing your website where your visitors are coming from so this is very important so you can monitor where your traffic is coming from as well so you can see that if your seo is working you can see more traffic coming from the search direct visitors are obviously someone who visited you in the past and are coming back it is the return visitor social media traffic unknown traffic is obviously not recorded and email traffic from your newsletters you can also see which traffic source generates the most sales direct traffic return visitors in the case of this particular store this is brick and mortar store someone who goes into their physical location buys the search traffic google traffic unknown and social media traffic online store session by the social store so if you're active on social media you can see which platform generates the most traffic as well you can also see which social media platform generates the most sales so you can monitor it as well so this is useful if you want to see whether Instagram generates more traffic and sales or whether it's Facebook so you can know which platform to focus in the future. The top reference sites, these are the backlinks and other websites pointing to your store. Which landing pages people are usually clicking when they find you from social media, from other sources, from Google and so on. So you can see if your marketing strategy brought traffic to particular product or particular collection and also you can monitor how much sales in is contributed to marketing efforts if you are running facebook ads or instagram ads these will be monitored here okay now let's look into that in detail so let's say uh, we want to view data from the last month so i'll click on the date and select last 30 days and i want to compare it with the previous period so i will scroll down and t make sure that it's ticked compared to previous period and click apply now I will see all of these values in the period of the last 30 days as compared with the previous period. So I can see that the last 30 days was 53% more sales compared to the previous month, 
the online store sessions improved by 21%, return customers dropped, but the online conversion improved by 77%, which is a really, really good number. Average order value is on up. As you can see, number of orders as well is on the up. Not all of these will be important to you, so remember that you can just check all of those data that will be important to you. Look at the data from the location, you can look at the number of orders or the order value or the conversion rate so you can compare it and you can keep checking the same data. But the sales traffic search dropped, direct sales as I mentioned these are most likely customers that buy in the brick and mortar store. The traffic from the search improved by 51% which is fantastic, direct traffic, other one dropped. And also you can click on the view report from each of the data to see more detailed information. So let's click it and opens in a new page. So you can export the data, you can print it, you can group it by day or hour, week or other values as you need. You can see the orders each day, so number of orders, gross sales, discounts if applied, returns if someone returned, net sales, shipping fees, taxes and total sales. This is much more detailed for you. This is really, really useful if you are preparing your accounts. This is definitely insightful. You can also edit columns. You can add further details. You can change the period as well. For example, if you want to view it from the last year, you can also do that or months to date. Let's say last year, simply click apply. As you can see, because we've been with this customer, I think we started the project sometime before the lockdown. It's been with me for a year, package and uh, July this year. And obviously we've been, it's been through lockdown. But in the last year, the sales really improved when we started. Obviously, he had insignificant sales, as you can see, zero, zero, zero compared to what's happening now. Much more dramatic sales. This is really great if you want to monitor your progress. If you have just hired some SEO expert, your marketing team, this will help you track the progress, how they're doing. This detailed information will be much, much more useful if you're doing the accounts for the year. If you're doing a tax return, we call it in the UK tax return if you're self-employed. If you are just monitoring your progress, the normal data of the dashboard analytics is certainly enough. You can check it as often as you want. I recommend checking it once a week and compare it with the previous period to see the changes. And obviously the green is on the up, red is on the down. This is how you read the Shopify analytics. It's very insightful and also I do encourage you to integrate Google Analytics with your Shopify store. Sometimes this data is a little bit different. Google Analytics measures the traffic, conversion rate, sales from different angles. So I do recommend taking both tools into consideration when monitoring your traffic, when monitoring your sales. I've got another video telling you how to integrate Google Analytics and how to read their data. So make sure to check it out. If you loved this video, smash the like button now and subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular SEO and e-commerce tips. Also hit the bell to be notified every time I upload new video. Now watch these videos next recommended for you here to learn more about SEO and running successful online business. Bye-bye!